All right, so there you see the uh, results of the match that just happened. Mataka Yumi is now 3-4. and four. He lost today to that man walking out of the arena. Meisei, the Maiga Shira 4, is also now 3-4 and four with the win. So both men a little under 500 after the first week. But here we are with Abi, the Maiga Shira 2, taking on former Ozeki Shodai. Shodai is at Maiga Shira 1 this tournament. And uh, pretty doing pretty well, 4-2 and two record, no real big complaints. Abi a little bit better at 5-1. and one. And he, of course, can stay on the leaderboard, one off the pace of the current leader, Midori Fuji, and possibly Daesho. I will have the Daesho match for you um, when he fights Wakamoto Haru in a few matches. Uh, Abi at Maigashira 2 this tournament, so looking to have a good tournament to jump back up to Komosubi perhaps. Shodai as well would like to make it back up into Sanyaku. Um, I, I'd be interested to talk to Shodai um, and see if he does have realistic expectations of becoming an Ozeki again. Uh you know, considering uh, what he's been going through. Some people have said, told me that he had, or has, I don't think you get rid of it, he has diabetes. And uh, managing it uh, last year was difficult. And, uh, you know, it was impacting his ability to train, his sleep, what he ate, uh, all kinds of things. As any of you who've had relatives or if, if you yourself have diabetes know, uh, my mom had diabetes, so I have some... Uh, experience with it and uh yeah so but I've, I've heard that he's kind of got that worked out he's on a good regimen now and uh he's looking a little bit better this tournament so i wish him well and i hope he is able to uh fight back and uh be a good competitor um i don't think he'll ever be an ozeki again you know leave me a comment what do you guys think um but you never know uh he certainly could uh so let me talk a little bit while they get ready about what happened down in Jurio today. So what happened was, is I got a message from John Gunning, who's kind of reappeared on social media of late and said, hey, I'm doing this thing on Twitter called Spaces. And I had no idea what he's talking about. Do you want to come and join? And I was like, okay, what do I do? And he's like, just click on the link, you dummy. And so I did. And he was just in this room on Twitter kind of hanging out. You don't see anybody, but you can turn your microphone on on your phone and you can listen to the people talking, and then if, if you know, he gives you the power since he's the owner of the room, you can talk. And uh, so he he allowed me to speak. And oh, but this match is getting ready to go. Hold on. <laughs> How ironic would it be in a way if Shodai, after all the troubles he's been having and his you know fall from grace, as it were, uh, falling out of the Ozeki rank and out of Sanyaku completely, if he wins this U show, you know, which is a possibility. The only two competitors he's lost to is he lost to Takakesho, and he lost to Daesho, who's having a great tournament and is undefeated right now. But he's beaten everybody else. He beat Hoshoru, he beat Kiribayama, he beat Waka Takakage, he beat Tamawashi, who's the same rank as him, M1. He just beat Abi. So, uh, yeah, uh, Shodai maybe, you show. Wow. Uh, who to thunk? So, okay, let me continue my story as we watch the replay, and I'll just let this uh, video keep rolling into the... Uh, Tomawashi Tobizaru match, if that's what happens. But um, anyway, so John Gunning on Twitter says, hey, come and join this thing called Spaces. So I did, and you hang out in a room, and uh, some of the Sumo Mayanichi people were there from Australia. And, you know, obviously it's Japan time. You know, we were watching kind of on our TVs while we were chatting. And so I kind of forgot, oh gosh, I'm supposed to tape these matches. And uh, so I didn't get the Jurio matches up, but I had a nice chat with John. Um, he's, uh, obviously still really involved in sumo, hasn't been able to be on the NHK commentary crew, but now that COVID restrictions are lifting in Japan, 
Uh, maybe by the fall he'll be back in the booth and, and on AHK again. Um, and uh, we can listen to him commentate. Uh, but he still writes his column for the newspaper about sumo and, uh, and is very actively involved. Okay, so uh, as we see, Tamawashi's 1-5, and five, Tobizaru 3-3. Three and three, So this will just be a doubleheader uh, video for you. Down in Jurio. So I did have the Ochi match for you. And Hakuyozan, Hakuyozan uh, won over Tamashoho. So Hakuyozan Jurio 9 is still at 6 and 1. He maintained his one loss. Kitanawak is at 5 and 2. Who else is doing well? Hidenumi is at 5 and 2. And Gon Gonoyama, Gonoyama fought Ichinojo. So Ichinojo undefeated, Gonoyama with one loss, and Gonoyama won. Uh, so Gonoyama is now six and one. Ichinojo is now six and one. So there's no undefeated Rikshi left in the Jurio division. Then Tochinoshin fought Enho, and Tochinoshin won. So he's now three and four. Enho is four and three, and uh, I'll leave a link down in the description of this video to Nato's Jurio coverage. So if you want to watch some of these Jurio matches. Go check that out. You can easily, you go to the top comment and Nato does timestamps for every match, you know, all 14 matchups of the day. And you can go directly, let's say you just want to watch Tochi no Shin or just want to watch Ichi no Jo, you can directly go to their match. Um, he's really on top of it with his coverage. Uh, let's see. Then the final match of the day was Asanoyama versus Shonan Naomi. And both of those guys have one loss. So who was going to get a second loss? Who was going to maintain? And of course, uh, not surprising, Asunoyama won with a Shitate Nage. So he is at 6-1, and one, and Shona Naomi is now 5-2. and two. So it's a three-way, no, four-way leader group. Hakuyozan, Gonoyama, Ichinojo, and Asunoyama are all tied at 6-1 and one down in Jurio. So it's still very exciting down there. I'll try to do a little bit better tomorrow and have some of the matchups. Let's see if they put the Torikumi up for day eight yet. Uh, yes. So let's see. Ochi has a, a rest with it's only two and five, so that's not very exciting. Uh, Hakuyozan has Aqua, who's three and four. Gonoyama has Hidena Umi, who's five and two. Ichinojo has Shonana Umi. That's a fun matchup. Both men are at Jurio three. Ochinojo six and one. Shonana Umi five and two. And Asanoyama has Oshoma. Who's a good competitor, even though he's at three and four this tournament. He is uh, a strong competitor. Tochi Notion has Roga. So I'll try to have some of those matches for you in tomorrow's coverage on day eight, Sunday, Nakabi. And uh, okay, let's turn on some uh, crowd noise and enjoy this one. Oh, you got this. Oh, ここ、ま、しょうがないですね。ですね。この迫力がないですね。通常はよくないですね。え、通算連続出場1500回の姫の土俵でしたが、玉橋勝つことができました。オールライト。そう、トビザールナウ4&3。えー、玉橋は、really and uh, yeah, I, you know, after that, I thought, oh man, he's going to have a great tournament after his day one win. And he just has just totally, I mean, not that he hasn't fought well and fought hard. He just hasn't been able to get a win since day one. That's got to be so demoralizing in a way. He's got to find a way to get, you know, bounce back from that. Uh, but the veteran is struggling. Okay, uh, come on back. I will have the Daisho match coming up next.